this video that you clicked on and are about to watch. It was first released exclusively inside my Patreon. There's a link to it in the description below. If you want to watch me document the journey of applying faith where it meets your finances, this crypto bull run, and you want to see me trade a portfolio over the next year or two, I would encourage you to take a look at the Patreon in the description below. Without further ado, enjoy this video. Welcome to the first video of me building this portfolio. I'm about to lay some context and groundbreaking figuratively information. I have to start by saying I am not a financial advisor. Nothing that I say is financial advice. I am literally just a dude trading some crypto, sharing his dreams and visions, and I hope that some principles can help you out. That being said, you are fully responsible for yourself. Know your risks, know the rewards. Without any more delay, let's get into it. There is a famous investing quote that goes like this. A rising tide lifts all ships. And what that means is that when the tide is coming in, all the boats go up. Basically, whenever we're in a bullish market, when interest rates are getting cut, when people are very excited about crypto and there's a lot of money flowing in, everything tends to do well. When I'm building this portfolio that I'm going to be trading on this Patreon, a key foundational principle that I want to display for you is very much to never ever FOMO into a boat that's already taking off. Today when I'm making this, ICP is up 65% and I love ICP. I purchased it in the bear market and I want to buy more of it still, but it's up 65%. Everyone right now is scrambling to get on that boat. I want to find the boat in the port that hasn't done well yet. I want to find the crypto that still has yet to rise and catch the next wave. And in my personal opinion, after keeping a very close eye on the entire crypto market these last 18 months, we are entering into the tail end of the first mover advantage of this bull market. The time to be purchasing and dollar cost averaging was the last year and a half. That window of being early is coming to a fast close. And remember, once something is shiny, you're too late. Now the tide has already started to flow into the port, but that being said, there is still some time to ready yourself and get on the right boats to catch the next waves. The window is closing though, but I mean it when I say it's just a little bit of time. And I am not trying to pump FOMO, fear of missing out, into you right now. I do believe that a lot of the bigger blue chip cryptos that have done quite well so far, like Solana, Avalanche, Cardano, I think that they have a lot of long-term upside potential ahead of them. They could all very easily 5 to 10x still. The entirety of the crypto market still has massive, huge upside potential. But when it comes to a lot of the leading blue chips like Solana, Avalanche, Cardano, you're not going to get that 25 to 50 X returns that you would have gotten if you were simply dollar cost averaging those throughout the bear market. In fact, most of the cryptocurrencies that I'm going to be building in this portfolio, I already own and I purchased them at much better prices during the bear market. So it does feel a little bit of counterintuitive or weird. But that being said, I'm doing this to show that there's still plenty of hope. In fact, it was only three weeks ago that I saw on three different days, three visions where God was telling me H bar. In one of those visions, I saw it go from its current price of around five cents to six cents. All right. I saw it go from there up to 18 cents. Now that was three weeks ago. And in one of these trading windows that I'll pull up in a second here, my original position is up over 31%. But that being said, there's still a long ways to go to get to that 17 cent level. So it's okay if you're a little bit late, you're still pretty early. Bitcoin, crypto, all of this industry, it's the fastest globally adopted technology ever, faster than the internet, faster than electricity. It's number one, but when you look at the total market cap of all of it combined, it's still roughly around half the size of Apple. So I think we are still very, very early and there's still a lot of hope here. And if there wasn't, I would not be making these videos. So whether you've been investing throughout this entire bear market or you're just pioneering into crypto right now, this is the perfect place for you. I'm going to pull a blend of both and make an awesome legendary portfolio. Now, let me switch over my screen to Bybit real quick. When it comes time to actually build the portfolio live in front of you, it's not going to be on this trading software. This is Bybit. I'm actually going to build the portfolio on KuCoin. And depending on where you're based in the States, you might use Coinbase or Kraken, or if you're outside of the States, you might use something else. The point is, is that generally speaking, most of these coins should be accessible on most exchanges. If not, you might have to access them through DeFi. It's up to you. This is just a general guidance. This is not a copy trading exhibit. This is just something for you to get a good rough idea on and take some insights from it where you can, because obviously nothing is financial advice. Generally speaking, I will avoid Coinbase whenever I can because they have the highest fees. 
If I spend $100 buying a crypto and there's a $5 fee associated with that when I buy it and when I sell it, you know, I have to make up 10% just to break even. So there are certain things that you have to do for yourself. And one of those is finding out what exchange works best for you. But over here, I wanted to show you specifically, this is the H bar trade that I was talking about. The initial trade was $3,300 and it's currently up 30%. So a little bit over $1,000 unrealized profit. When you look at this horizontal green line, that is where I dollar cost average. So over three different days in this period here, the Lord was speaking to me H bar. And it did take close to three weeks for it to finally come up to the eight cent range, which is where we're at now. But there's still a long ways to go on top of this. I say this to say that H bar is a coin that I'm going to include in the portfolio when I build it. And yes, I'm a little bit late, but I'm still quite early compared to where I believe that this is fundamentally going. And that same principle applies to pretty much the entire total crypto market right now. Whether we look at coins in the Avalanche ecosystem or Solana ecosystem or Cardano ecosystem, we might be a little bit late compared to some of the first movers. But that being said, I still think that we are very early. So without any further delay, let's start making this portfolio. So like I mentioned at the very start of this video, this was video one of the series that I've produced on Patreon. You can find it in the description below if you would like to join. It is a name your price Patreon. No matter what tier or level you select, everyone gets access to the same information. If you don't like the idea of a Patreon and you don't wanna do that, it's totally fine. Eventually all the content does make its way to YouTube. You're just getting the delayed version of it as well. Inside of the Patreon, I put the timely updates that I receive in prayer. I'm kind of turning it into this library or archive where in the mornings when I'm praying, if I receive something, I type it up on my computer and then I post it on the Patreon. Everything will make its way to YouTube eventually, but it's just another resource that's available to you. Regardless of that, I hope that something inside of this video was beneficial to you. If there was a nugget of wisdom or a good takeaway or a lesson that you learned, feel free to drop it in the comment section below. As well, if you're not already, please subscribe, share this with a friend, like the video. Let's help it get out and reach more people. I think that about covers everything. And in the days to come, I will be further releasing more of the Patreon information in these videos here on YouTube. Thank you so much. And until next time.